Morning, everyone. All right, sorry, the internet these days is taking its sweet time for certain. So good morning from Baltimore, Maryland, courtesy of Yoga Works. We're gonna come right into our practice. If you would like to stream music at home, um, you can go to Spotify. My name is Sarah Cook, and you can go to my playlist, You and You, that's what I'm gonna be playing, or if you wanna just play to your own rhythm, your own beat, by all means. I'll let you know uh, when to start the music if you are, in fact, joining me in that. So we're gonna to start today in the child's pose. And in fact, a widening child's pose. Bring your toes together. Your hips back to your heels, walk your hands out in front of you, and then nestle in between your thighs and knees. You can rest your forehead to the earth, stretching your arms long out in front of you. Just allowing the rhythm of the breath to get sweeter. On your next inhalation, look forward, and then take your torso on a walk over to the right. Somewhere around two o'clock, if you were on a big clock face, and wrap your right arm behind your back, and let the right knee Hold your right shoulder. And then switch sides. So of course, as you go to the left, bring your left arm around your back. Let your left knee support your left shoulder. And then come on back to center. I'm going to start the music now if you want to join me, by all means. And then from your child's pose, simply lift your hips up. Set your hands underneath of your shoulders. You can keep your toes together. Exhale, bend your elbows like a chaturanga. Inhale, press back up, draw the belly up. Exhale, your hips to your heels, but keep looking forward so you invite a bit of a back bend. Glug into your fingers, inhale through center. Exhale, tip forward, bend your elbows. Inhale, draw the belly up. Exhale, your hips to your heels. And then just move with the breath, breathe in. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Hips back, exhale. And then inhale to your hands and knees. Keep your knees nice and wide. Swivel your feet to the outsides of the mat. Curl your toes. And then pick up your knees and take it to a really wide downward facing dog, meaning your knees are gonna stay in line with your toes. Think of it more like a frog dog. Bend your knees and stick your seat up. And as you widen your knees, widen the bones of your seat. Take it a little bit higher up through your seat and then start to walk your hands back towards your feet, staying in this wider stance. As you inhale, lift and lengthen, take a breath. And as you exhale, fold in half. Inhale, lift and lengthen, slide your hands up to your knees, get nice and light on your knees. Send your heart forward, keeping this wider stance. Sit a little bit deeper in your legs. And then stand all the way up, reach your arms to the sky, take a breath. Hold your opposite elbows and simply lean up and over to the right. And then you're going to shift the weight off of your right leg into your left leg. Keep leaning over and then pick up your right leg, float it out to the side. Point your toes a little bit more forward. And then nice and easy, step it back, switch sides, stand up straight in your legs, lean over to the left. And then step off your left leg. 
Shift all the way into your right foot. Take your left leg out to the side. And then nice and easy, step it back. Take a big breath in, reach both arms to the sky. And then exhale, fold with your wide legs. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold again. Take a hold of the outsides of your ankles. Bring your elbows wide and fold in. And then walk your hands forward just enough to come to your fingertips. Nice and light, hop your feet next to your hands. And then again, hands forward, feet next to your hands. And then plant your hands, step jump, downward facing bent knees. Come forward to plank pose, take a breath. And hold your plank. Moving hand, hand, foot, foot. Find the steadiness of your breath. And then take it to a dog. Exhale up and back. Big bend in your knees. And start to find some movement in the hips. Bring your right knee to touch your right upper arm, and then step it back, down dog, bend your knees. Left knee, left upper arm, step it back. Right, left, right, left, three, two, one. Down dog, bend your knees. Look to your hands, yoga squat to the outside of your hands, hands to your heart. And then settle in. Move deeper into your squat. It's still early in practice, so take care of yourself. Maybe turn your toes out a little bit more for this. Lift your heart. And then nice and easy, lower your hips all the way down to the ground. Curl your knees into your chest, and then lower yourself to the earth. All right, setting up for some bicycle work. Bring your hands behind your head. Bring your knees right over top of your hips and align your ankles with your knees so you've got 90. Take a breath in, lift your head, lift your shoulders. Exhale, twist to the right, reach your left leg forward. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the left. So we start with these slow and steady side to sides. Exhale. Strong breath out. Almost like you're pressing the breath out. If you've got a French press coffee maker, you can imagine when you press the press all the way down, gives you maximum amount of coffee. Last one. Twisting left. And then back to center. Bring your knees nice and wide. Keep your head and shoulders up. Reach your arms straight up to the ceiling. Palms to the sky, and then touch your knees to your arms, your arms to your knees, and squeeze your feet a little bit closer. Imagine you're in a crow pose on your back. As you inhale, stretch it out, reaching out for your toes, reaching back for your arms. Think handstand. And then exhale, bring it in. Think crow pose. Inhale, reach it back. Exhale, crow pose. One more time, inhale, reach it back. Exhale to your crow. And then bring your knees into your chest, let go of your head and neck for a moment. Take a big rock back, feet back. Rock forward, place your feet on the ground, hands on the ground, fold in half. Separate your feet hips width. Press down into your legs, let your arms go for a moment. And then keep thinking down, down, down through your legs as you roll up your spine. The more you press down into your legs, the more you really feel the rebound of the earth to meet you. Inhale, take your arms up, hook your thumbs together. Take a breath, reach up to the sky. Lean up and over one side, doesn't matter which. Inhale through center. Exhale, up and over to the other. And then inhale through center with a swan dive, fold in half, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, bend knee, down dog, step or hop. 
Come forward to plank pose. Chaturanga Konasana, exhale. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha, downward facing. Breath in and breath out. And then step your feet to the wide edges of the mat. Take your hands to the wide edges of the mat. Come forward, so you're in this wide plank. Hands wide, feet wide. And then think regular push-up, elbows out to the side. Bend your elbows. Push-up. Roll to the right. You're on the outside of the right foot, the front part of your left foot. Reach your left arm, side plank. And then lower the left hand down, let it come out wide. Push-up. And let's switch sides. Reach your right arm. And then let's find a rhythm between those two. Lower the right hand down. Bend your elbows. Push up. Left arm goes high. As you exhale, hand down, lower down. Right arm to the sky. Right hand to the earth. Last round. Left arm goes high. Left hand comes down. Right arm goes high. Push up. Push back up. Push back to your dog. Walk your hands to shoulder width, but keep your feet wide. Bend your knees. Take your knees as wide as your toes. Take your seat a little higher. Shake out your head and your neck. And then you'll get squat to the top of the mat. Hands to your heart. And then just seeing where you can land right now. Sweep your left arm out to the left. Put your right hand on your right knee, and then let the right hand and knee kind of resist one another. So you're not actually pushing out or in, but you're using that as leverage to turn your spine. And then switch it. Bring your right fingers out, use the left hand as easy leverage. Bring your hands to your heart. And then hands to the earth, hips to the sky, toes forward, fold in. Reach across, hold your opposite elbows. Sway it out, left and right. And then lean over to the right side, peek underneath of your left armpit, rise all the way to stand, taking the elbows up and over, and then come down the other side. And then up and around. And then release your hands to the earth. Inhale, rise to stand. And let go of your shoulders. Good step, hop your feet, hips width. Hands to your heart. Hook your thumbs, inhale, reach up, take a breath. Exhale, swan dive, fold in half, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, bend knee, downward facing, step or hop. Plank pose, breath in. Chaturanga Dadasana, exhale. Inhale to back bend. Exhale to a duck. Breath in, breath out. In your dog, bend your knees, turn your right toes out to the right as much as they'll go, about 45 maybe. Straighten your legs. Breathe into the back of the right leg. Keep lifting your left hip sky. And then spin it back to center, bend your knees, and just turn your left toes out to the left and straighten your legs. And keep lifting the right hip sky. And then bend your knees and lunge your right foot forward. Spin your left toes out to the side, rise to a warrior two. And hold your two. Good 
Find the steadiness of your legs. And then inhale, straighten your right leg. Stay plugged into your left heel. Lift your right toes up for a moment. And then lower the ball of the foot back down. Really reach out through the toes. Take it to trikonasana triangle. Keeping your left arm high, bend your right knee. And then from your side angle, perhaps stay or add a half bind, left arm behind your back, right arm underneath. And then make contact, right knee to right shoulder. But think your knee is pressing your shoulder as your right hip reaches back. Keep going forward through your crown. Maybe you can reach the hand back and the reacher becomes the grabber. As you exhale, re-split your hands. As you inhale, rise to warrior two. Stay with it. Revolve your pose. Take a breath. Challenge it. Can you get a little bit deeper in the right knee? Maybe even add your half bite of your left arm. And then to let it go, set your hands down. Step back, plank pose. Step your right foot all the way out to three o'clock. Shift your hips up and back. And then keep your right hand where it is. Take your left fingers out to the side, nine o'clock, and turn the fingers, heel just a little bit. You'll feel more in your right inner thigh. And then set your left hand back down. All right, here's where we're going. You're gonna gather your right knee into your chest, squeeze it in. You're turning to the left side so that you're gonna come onto the flat part of your foot. Your right hand is sturdy. Hover and fall and triangle. Take your leg out to the side and take your left arm high. Take it to a figure four. Crisscross your ankle. Bring your hands to your hips. Sit way back, pressing your right hand down and forward. Keep going up through the seat. Plank pose. Both hands down, both feet down. Take a breath in. Shutter on the exhale. Inhale to back bend. Downward facing dog exhale. Bend your knees, lend your left foot forward. Spin your right toes out, rise to your warrior two. And then settle in. Plug into your feet. Keep spinning the torso, so there's inherently a twist as the torso tries to align with the spine, right, the axis of the spine, but turn your head to look at your left hand. As you inhale, straighten your left leg. For a breath, lift your left toes in, up, plug into your heel. And then as you lower the foot back down, really plug into the ball of your foot. Take it to your triangle. Keep the right arm high. Come into your side angle, bending your left knee. And then add your half bind, add your full bind. How close can you get to your left leg? Think that your left knee is turning the shoulder, but your left hip is wrapping back. Find your twist. Grow the crown of your head. Grow the spine, even if it's only happening in your imagination. Re-split your hands. Plug into your feet as you inhale, rise up, warrior two. Stay deep in the front knee, revolve your pose, maybe add the half line of the right arm. Almost there. And then windmill your hands down and around. 
And you're going to step your left leg out, 9 o'clock. Right, shift your hips up and back. And then take your right fingertips out to the right, 3 o'clock. Widen your left heel a little bit more and widen your right seat. So there's that sense of widening through both sit bones. And then put your right hand back where it was. Gather your left knee into your chest. We're going to turn. So we're on the left hand and the right foot. Hovering, fall and triangle. Take it out. Draw the left thigh underneath you, but lift through the inner thigh. Three, two, Take it to a plank pose. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale to back bend. Exhale, down dog. Breath in, breath out. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, yogic squat. Hands to your heart. And then you're just going to shift the weight into your right leg. Lower the knee down. Keep the left toes turning out a little bit. Now sweep the left fingertips out in front of your left toes. Maybe you're just kind of at a diagonal from the toes. Bring your right hand behind you. Lengthen the tail back to take the heart forward and around. And maybe bind around your left leg. Bring your hands back to your heart. So let's see if we can transition without using the hands. Shift the weight, bring it around. Yeah. I still have my left toes curled under for a little bit of support, a little bit of opening through the bottom of the foot. Reach your right hand out, bring your left arm behind your back. And then maybe out a half bind, full arms. And then bring your hands to your heart. Yogic squat, maybe without your hands. Rise all the way to stand. And then come all the way back down. Rise all the way to stand. Come back down. Rise up. Come back down. Rise up. Come back down. Last one, rise up, you got it. Come on back down. Take it to crow pose, bakasana. Knees to upper arms. Pull the feet in and up. Five, four, three, two. Bend knee, down dog, Separate hop. <laughs> Inhale, plank pose, chaturanga. Inhale, back bend. Exhale to a duck. Bend your knees, lunge your right foot forward. Rise to warrior two. Inhale, revolve your pose. Exhale to Ardha Chandra. Step to your right foot. Pick up your back leg. Make the back leg as sturdy as you can. And then bend your left knee. Reach back with your left hand. Find your foot. Kick your foot. Find your twist. Re-extend, inhale. Exhale, step it back, warrior two. Inhale, revolve your pose. Have a half bind of the back arm. Exhale, your hands down. Spin onto the ball of your back foot. Sweep your right foot out. Three o'clock, take your hips up and back. Take the left arm out to the left.
And then gather your right knee into your chest. Go ahead and grab your foot this time. Come into your side plank with your foot, your fallen triangle. Reach your right leg towards the front of the room, towards your right toes, three. Wrap the right hip under two. Plank pose, take a breath in. Chaturanga, exhale. Listen, we're gonna add to this. Keep your toes curled, find a back bend. Come back to your chaturanga. Push up, plank pose. Downward facing dog, exhale. Bend your knees, lend your left foot forward. Rise to warrior two. Inhale, revolve your pose. Exhale to Ardha Chandra, step to your left foot. Bend your knee, reach back, find your foot for your Chakasana. And then find your twist for your chest. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale to warrior two. Inhale, revolve the pulse. Add a half bind of your right arm. And then exhale your hands around. Step your left leg out, nine o'clock. Take your hips up and back. And take your right arm out to three o'clock. And then gather your knee to your chest. Reach across, hold your foot, get out, and then sweep it towards the front of the room. Towards the front of your mat, towards your left toes. Breathe at three, <laughs> two, plank pose for a breath. Chaturanga. Inhale, right to back bends. Downward facing dog, exhale. Bend your knees, look forward, yogic squat. Rise to stand. Release your arms by your sides. Okay. So, in a moment, you're going to come on back down into a squat into a crow pose, and then we're going to work it one leg at a time, seeing if we can just pull the knee into the center, okay? So, it'll look like this. We'll come on back down. You're free to just watch for a moment, and then you can go for it. So I'm going to climb as high as I can into the upper arm, so I've got a lot of levity. And then, just think like you're sucking a knee into the chest, try to give it a kiss. And then you can come back. All right, you do. So crow pose. Doesn't matter which, I'm gonna go for the other one. Pull any in, squeeze. And then bring it back. And you can come back to your squat. After you try both sides, slide your hands underneath of your heels. And then let that go, release hips to the sky. Toes forward, fold in half. Press down into your legs, roll up your spine. Exhale your shoulders down your back. Feet underneath of your hips, dancer pose, standing on your right leg. <clears throat> Bend your left knee, reach back, hold your foot, much like Chapasana. Pull the knee in, take your right arm high. Kick and reach, reach as you kick. Rise back up, Tadasana. Earn pasta, both arms up. Breath in, breath out. Switch, stand on your left leg. Hold your right foot. Kick back, heart forward. And then mountain pose to earth the hosta, both arms up. Hmm. 
Good, and then release your hands. Now, you may, if you have blocks, you might want to put them right in front of you, one on each side. Okay, so we're going to transition. I'll do this this way so that I don't have my back to you for this piece. So first come into a dance or stand on your right leg. You're going to hold the outside of your left foot. Take your right arm high. Kick and reach. Now slowly, put a little bend in the standing leg, transitioning your right hand down to the ground. Can you keep your right leg exactly as it is? Even draw the right hip back, but then turn into the chavasana. Fight for the balance. And see if you can keep wrapping the right hip back. Nice and easy, step it back. Last warrior two of practice. Revolve your pulse. Exhale, windmill your hands down to frame up your right foot. Sweep your right leg out, three o'clock. Left hand up, nine o'clock, take your hips up and back. And then listen carefully. You're going to gather your right knee to your chest. You're going to turn it all the way around. Bring your hands to your hips. Take your right leg out. Crisscross your ankle to your thigh. I realize I forgot that second side on the other one. We'll be okay. And then you're going to keep this shape. Put your left hand down. Come all the way around. And then step your right foot behind. Wild thing. Three-legged plank pose. Three-legged chaturanga. Both feet to the ground, back bend. Ah, um, good time for facing dog, exhale. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, yogic squat. Hands to your heart, stand up. Feet underneath. And then dancer. Standing this time on your left foot. Hold the outside of your right foot and take your left arm high. Kick and reach, reach and kick. Slowly lower your left hand down to your block, to the earth. <laughs> and then as you open, keep the left hip really sturdy. Keep wrapping the left hip back. Three. Two. Step back, warrior two. Whew. Inhale, revolve your pose. Exhale, your hands down. Step your left leg out, nine o'clock. Take your hips up and back. Take your right arm out, three o'clock. You can really start to get into the hips. And then gather your left knee in. Take it across. Bring your right hand to your right hip. Crisscross ankle to thigh. Sit it back. Then you're going to keep that. Take the right hand around. You're coming all the way around. And then step your foot behind you. Wild thing. Three-legged plank pose. Three-legged chaturanga. Both feet to the ground, back bend. Downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale, knees to the earth, exhale, child's pose or water break. When you're done, just come on up to a seat. Curl your toes under. Mm -hmm. Sit your hips on your heels. And then just like you're opening your feet, interlace your fingers. And stretch your palms to the sky. I know this can be a lot in your feet, so stay with it. 
if it's too much and you've got something, books or blocks at your disposal, you can always make it a little less intense, give some of the weight to a block. And then release your hands. All right. So if you have a blanket or a towel, great. But honestly, you can just use your mat. Go to the back of the mat and roll it up about two thirds of the way. All right. So that you've got a pretty nice roll underneath of your heels. Yeah. And the balls of your feet are down on the ground. So separate your feet hips width. And measure that up, two fists width, right inside the arches of the feet. And then fold over. You can reach behind your calves, slide your fingertips underneath of your heels, and fold. And as you're folding, keep reaching down and forward into the balls of your feet. Start to rise a little bit higher up through your hips. Release your hands. Walk your fingers out in front of you. Okay, take a moment, bend your knees. Take a breather. We're coming right back. One more. This time you're going to reach behind your knees. Opposite elbows behind your knees. Two more breaths. Stay with it. And then release your fingers down to the earth. Let your mat unroll behind you. Press down into your feet and roll up your spine. Press, 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 press down into the earth. And shoulders down your back. Look your thumbs, inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Take a big breath in. With a swan dive, fold over your legs. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa in any way you like. Way forward, plank pose. Exhale, left elbow, right elbow. Left hand, right hand. Just one more. Right elbow, left elbow. Right hand, left hand, leg pulse, all the way to your belly. Reach your right arm out to the right. Roll onto your right side. Gather both knees up to the height of your hips. And you can just use your left hand to kind of lengthen your tail a little bit, and then use it like a kickstand. If you want a little bit more, now step the left foot behind. If you want even more than that, step your right foot next to your left foot. And then unwind. Come all the way back to your belly and switch. Take your left arm out to the left. And as you roll onto your left side, bring your knees up. So my palm is down behind me. And then if and when you're ready, step your right foot behind.
If you want more, left foot next to right foot. And then unwind it and come on back. And let's set up for a little belly down back bend. Sweep your arms back behind you. Thumbs down, pinkies up to the sky. Toes back. Inhale, rise up. Lift your head, shoulders, lift your feet and pick up your arms. Interlace your hands behind you. Reach your shoulders to the sky. Can you press the heels of your hands in? And then rock the pubis towards the earth, but keep lifting up to your feet. Stay with it, three, two, let's go right for it, bend your knees, reach your hands back for your feet, and then fire through the back of the legs, lifting your toes to the sky. Keep rocking the pubis towards the earth. You probably feel a lot of fire at the back of the leg. Take a breath in. If you've got room, let's take it to side. Roll onto your right side. And so now you're looking out of the corner of your left eye. Do your very best not to let this left knee come way up, but keep it more in line. And then come on back to center. Take a breath. Exhale. Roll to your left. Look out of the corner of your right eye. And come on back to center, take a big breath in. Re-extend to locus, no rush. We're going to take it right into cobra, upward facing dog. Rise up. Downward facing dog, exhale. Pigeon, right chin to the top. Right, so orient yourself. My friends who say they have knee pain in this right knee, right, do your best. The right hip is on its side. The tail is right in the middle at six, and this left foot is over to its own side. And I have angled my right foot in a little bit and even rolled more towards the toenail side. And the left foot be ready for it. And then walk your hands in. Sit to your right hip and just drag this left knee forward for Bravajasana. So you can stay here with the foot just nestled into the thigh. Add your twist towards this front leg. If you want to add a little bit more, you're going to work this into a half lotus, working it as much into the hip crease as you can so that you're not straining the ankle. You're really working from the hip joint. Then there's your bite. Hi, my love. You can even leverage your hand against your dog. Okay, come on back to center. So to release, you're going to bring your right foot back into its half lotus position. Bring this other leg all the way around. Give it a nice breather. And then here we are, set up for our Johnny Shashasana. Take a breath in, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. One more breath. 
Inhale, lift and lengthen your spine. Look forward past your toes. Exhale, rise all the way up. Crisscrossing your left ankle, left shin in front of your right shin. Place your hands down. All right, so if it's new, maybe put your feet down and just work your hips. Lift up, lift up, lift up. All right, or maybe you rock into the hands. Pick up both seat and hands. And then you can rock forward and take it to plank pose to vinyasa. And then let's meet in pigeon on the left side. All right, so same rules apply. Sometimes, some lifetimes, your hip isn't designed to bring the front shin to, shin to parallel. At least that's been my understanding of it for all these years. If and when you're ready, fold in half. Right shin, right knee forward for Radhajasana. Right, so you can keep the foot at the thigh and turn, or take it into your half lotus. Notice the, the frame gets a little smaller in the half lotus to really accommodate the foot being close into the hip, and then perhaps your half bind. Interestingly, this hand helping this knee to root down actually feels really nice in the hips. Right? It feels like better ground. And then turn back to center, release your half bind, release your half lotus, help the back leg forward and around. And then take it to your Johnny Shashasana, folding over the leg. Inhale, lift and lengthen, exhale, rise all the way up. So let's give this a whirl on the second side. Crisscross your knees, your shins, your ankles, whatever you can. Put your hands down and maybe it's just working this, right? Lifting your hips. Maybe you've got a little bit more leverage and you can take the feet through. Last call for your vinyasa. Inhale. Down dog, exhale. And then lower your knees down to the earth. Sit up on your heels. We're gonna take about a minute or two to work in an inversion practice. So I've got a wall at my disposal. If you have a wall and you wanna work some handstands, I'm gonna walk you through that. More like a, a kind of fun play with handstands. And if you prefer to do a different inversion, maybe you're doing the legs of the wall. All right, so the wall is nice just because it gives you a sense that you've got some protection behind you. And more than anything, right, if you want to do a, a really refined handstand practice, great. Um, but this is actually more of a play in your hips, play in your pelvis. So, pardon the view. <laughs> I'm going to take it into a down dog. And then I'm going to just walk my feet a little bit wide 
and forward, right? So we've done so much of this in practice. Put your imagination in your hips, in your pelvis, and just take a little bend of the knees and try to hop. Again, think hips up, right? So you maybe get some air time. Maybe if the work is just try to kick heel to seats, right? But put your imagination up in the hips. And maybe your feet touch. Maybe you're just kind of hanging out here. Breathe it out. Again, if you want to reach both legs to the sky, woo, that's up to you. So take another minute to play. If you feel ready, when you feel ready, we're going to meet here and legs up the wall. When you're in your legs at the wall, reach your feet up and then roll your ankles one and then the other, one and then the other. Switch the direction. Keep rolling your ankles, take your arms up, roll out your wrists. Switch the direction of both. Gather your knees back into your chest. And then set your feet down for a bridge pose. Set your hands down, lift your hips up, scoot your shoulders underneath of you. Exhale, come on down. Gather your knees slowly into your chest. And then rock yourself up to a seat. Stretch your legs straight out in front of you. If you have a block, this will be really nice. Just place it between your knees so that you keep your legs at hip width distance, right? And then from there, keeping your heels plugged in, just rest your hands on your knees for a moment and then throw the ball of the knee up into the mid of your palm and add a twist. Bring your left hand across to your right knee, reach your right arm back behind you. Right, so find your right angle in the hip and turn. And then switch it. And then back to center. Take a breath, reach up. Exhale, fold over your legs. And now your block can be a nice resting place for your forehead. Once you're folded over, rock your seat back just a little bit so there's this really gorgeous crease in your hips. The upper making contact with the lower. And then just roll up your spine. Move your block out of the way. Roll onto your back. Take a flip-flop out of your feet. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Keep doing that until you've rocked any little bit of tension out of the ankles. Until you've rocked it out of your thighs. Until you've rocked it out of your seat. And then start to take the toes forward and back so that you're rocking on your heels. So that release is now going up into the shoulders and up into the neck and down through the arms and back up and out through your head. And then finally, just let it go. And as we meet for our rest for our Shavasana, 
you're playing music, you may want to turn it off. I know I was like quiet. And if you have the time, I encourage you to stay. We'll be here just three minutes, just three. Begin to read, awaken yourself. Like a bear coming out of hibernation, getting ready for its spring excursions. Just start to reach and stretch. And then come back up to your seat, to any seat you'd like. And then we'll seal our practice with the sound of Om. I like to imagine that our collective song is reaching out over the collective net, meeting one another someplace. Let's take a breath in. Oh. Well, yogis, the light in me honors the light in each one of you. Namaste. Thank you, my friends. Happy week. That was a delightful end to Shavasana.